Welcome, I'm Perry Williams, and it, we're here at the halftime of the JV game. And next to me is Carmel head coach Todd Winland. Welcome, Todd. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. It, it's great to be with you today. Uh, several years back, uh, around the 2013, uh, I spent some time in northern Hamilton County with you when, when you uh, put together a great basketball team that uh, went to the state finals that year. And uh, really... Uh, with that small town up there, it, it rocked for a while. Didn't yeah, it? yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I uh, drive through there every day, coming to work from Anderson, and uh, reminisce about those times quite a bit. So, uh, had a lot of great kids, great families at Hamilton Heights, and uh, got a really good friend coaching there now, Keegan Cherry. He's doing a great job. Yeah, so. I, I'm. Uh, I spent a lot of time with Keegan. Yeah, too, and great I've guy. Called a couple of his games so far this yeah, season. So yeah, he's doing well. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be a good one. Yes. Hey, let's talk about this Greyhound basketball team because, you know, uh, Amy Dell just got a thousand points. She's at a thousand twenty-three right now. Uh, Tommy Tywu, another great scorer, but this team is much deeper than those two players. Oh, yeah, you know, absolutely. Uh, uh, you know, one of the best compliments we got uh, this year was the coach said. Uh, for as many great players as you have, I've never seen kids play so unselfish. And, uh, you know, our uh, we scored 74 points the other day uh, up in uh, Crown Point against Merrillville, and our leading score had 11. Yeah. So, you know, we had a lot of kids scoring, and uh, our, bench is, our, our bench is really good. Yeah, I mean, you, you, have a, you have many players. I mean, is this the deepest team you've had, Coach? I mean, yeah, really? oh, absolutely. Yeah, this is the deepest team uh, I've had since I've been coaching. Uh, and uh, a lot of versatile parts, you know, a lot of interchangeable parts to it. So that's what makes it fun and a uh, great group of kids. Absolutely. Now, Coach, you know, you, you know, you were in Hamilton Heights. Then you went to Warren Central. The reason you left Heights is they didn't have a teaching job for you. And, and so you left there, you went to Warren Central, uh, you know, and the Warren Central program got it rolling in the right direction. But then this opportunity came along and, and you know, this, it doesn't get much better than this one, does it? No, no. Uh, you know, when you look look on the walls in the gym, you see all the state championships that's been won and uh, there's a reason they've been won. And, uh, you know, the support system, the administration, uh, the resources, the community, you know, they, they want to win, and, uh, you know, I want to win, too. Uh, I'm a really competitive person, and uh, it's, been a, it's been a great uh, first three years. And this fourth year, it's, you know, we really feel like, you know, we have the talent to do it. So Yeah, you know, that in looking, uh, I was looking at numbers today, in fact. You know, that first year you were 17 and 8, but, uh, you know, the last two years you've been over, you know, a 20 game win, so... Uh, uh, but uh, this season looks like you're heading in the right direction again. Yeah, again. yeah. The, you know, our MIC conference is so tough. Uh, I told a guy, uh, a good friend of mine the other day, I said winning the MIC is probably tougher than winning the state for us because you don't have to play them all in a row, you know, to win a state. But our sectional is really tough with Hamilton Southeastern in it. And then the regional, you know, has always been difficult for us to get out of. So we're just taking it one game at a time right now and hopefully – you know, we can advance when we need to advance. You know, Coach, I was looking at the schedule today. You've already beat three top ten teams, okay, in Homestead, Heritage Christian, and Zionsville, and it doesn't get any easier. No, I mean, no, on, no. And we'll be on. We'll be there Friday right. uh, afternoon when you play Southeastern, who's right now ranked number four. Right. And, and the Parish girl. It's a real deal. It's oh, a sophomore. Yeah. Great she, player. She got very. She's yeah. got good length. Yep. Can handle the ball well, and then you follow that up with Lawrence North. Right, right. And then uh, you know, if you look after that, I think it's Warren Central, and then uh, we go to Chicago and we play the best team out of Chicago. That's got a girl that's uh, missed basketball in Illinois as a sophomore. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I think that's the only way you get better is to play the best competition you can play, and uh, you know. We, we, we embrace that, and, you know, we look forward to playing the great teams. I had, I had when I was looking at the status, the stats today, I had to think to myself, I, you know, Coach, the only team you don't play out of the top ten is, uh, for right now, is Jeffersonville is number nine. Right. 
because you know you'll see East Chicago Central, who is seven and zero right now in the, in the Hall of Fame Classic, possibly them or Zionsville. So it's right. kind of pick your poison and right. you play Martinsville in that opening round, which is ranked number seventeen, and then. Of course, you're going to North Central, okay, number two. So <laughs> right, it just keeps coming. Yeah. You want me to stop, right? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Murder's Rose yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah, So, you know, it would be hard for press for people to argue you have a soft schedule. Right. right? Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, we don't have a soft schedule, that's for sure. But, you know, a lot of, a lot of coaches and uh, administrators like to see their kids have success and go 15 and 5 or 18 and 2 on a soft schedule. Then they get beat in the tournament right away, and no one uh, understands. Right? They don't understand it. Yeah, they just don't understand it. And you know, like the year we were 17 and eight, my first year, we won seven in a row going into the sectional, and played this Noblesville team who won it. Uh, we led with two minutes to go in the game and got beaten a heartbreaker. To be yeah, honest with you, and uh, you know, from that point on, we've been you know really successful in tournament play with these kids. Well, coach, I appreciate. I you appreciate time you. Out, uh, to come and talk to us and everything and wish you the best of luck and we're going to see you down the road three or four oh, more times well, we so. appreciate you covering us and oh, following absolutely. girls high school basketball all right thank you all right appreciate thank you it. yep Thanks. thank you all right.